Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on first look slash review of a Christmas tree nightlight. So this is something that I ordered back in December and it didn't arrive until now, almost March. It takes quite a while for standard post from China. But the reason why I wanted to try something like this is because book lights have been getting pretty popular recently. In fact, there's this pretty common design that you can find that looks like this. It opens like a book, but the pages, when you flip it open, light up using LEDs. Uh, this Christmas tree light is actually operating on a very similar principle. Um, there is the light itself, which is this tree that's folded using paper, and you can flip it open, stick it onto the base, which has LEDs integrated, and it can turn different colors. Now the light retails for under $5, so it's also very low cost, uh, despite the shipping from China. And on the back we have some very basic information that you can use batteries or you can use micro USB to power it, uh, maybe through a computer or a power bank, something like that, and it acts as kind of a tabletop lamp. Uh, when you touch the switch, it's going to change automatically through different colors. I can also touch it again to let it stay at a certain color, for instance, uh, and it's a very basic information. So in the box here, we have access to the base, which looks like this. Um, there's a capacitive sensor on the bottom that you tap to turn it on or off. This is the LED lights. And on the back, there's also the battery compartment. It takes AAA batteries, a power switch, and also the micro USB power switch. Here we have the Christmas lights, the folded paper, which opens like this. I'll take a closer look in a second. This is the micro USB cable, pretty standard stuff a warranty card, and also an instruction manual that seems to be printed in both English as well as in Chinese. Going back into the paper, uh, basically you can see these grooves on the edges, and that's how it fits into the LED bulb and how you assemble it. The reason why it's not pre-assembled is just to save on space during shipping, and also you can fold it down when you're not using it, uh, which is again part of the appeal of having a paper-based light, uh, just like the book light in my opinion. Um, so it's using simply 3M tape, which you can remove uh, to tape it on. You have to make sure you align it first though before you uh, tape everything together, because afterwards it's not going to stick on or squeeze through on the base. So let's try... Uh, kind of attaching this and a few moments later we are done in fact it does such a convincing job of closing that you can't even tell the seams apart from one another even if you look very closely because you can't tell uh, where you stuck everything together so it is actually pretty cool once it's fully assembled on the bottom this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like from the very top um, the tree itself is actually larger than i was expecting just uh, when i was looking at the images earlier if we have a smartphone uh, here's a 5-inch device, a Xiaomi Redmi phone next to it. You can get a better sense of what the size is like. So it takes up a little bit of room on, it's on a desk, and here's what it looks like once I've turned the power bank on. Right now it seems to be in the slowly transitioning uh, mode, where it just goes through all the colors uh, very slowly. So uh, a single touch for the first time, it's under the automatic color change mode, and the second time it's under the single color mode. So right now it's just going to glow through this continuously as a mood lamp. So if we turn off the lights here, this is what it looks like. I wouldn't say it's necessarily bright enough to be used as a reading lamp. It's more of, a, again, a mood light or an atmospheric light. So although it adds some color maybe to the back of a room uh, as a night light, something like that, it's definitely not going to be enough for studying or for reading. Uh, still, it casts a pretty even glow and it definitely is pretty me mesmerizing to look at. So if we look at it, um, it definitely, again, casts a fairly even light, which is nice even from the base all the way to the very top here. And now a quick show through all of the colors. I can tap on it once again and now it's going through you know, all of them one by one. So starting with blue, a lighter blue, and now a pink slash a white light, and going to red, green, uh, and so on and so forth. Since it's operated using LEDs, it is very energy efficient, and uh, you can just plug it into the wall. You can also put in batteries if you wanted and take it anywhere with you. So surprisingly, actually not a bad uh, little display slash mood light for something so cheap. I do wish there were maybe some extra features, uh, maybe like a USB port integrated onto the light itself, since it's basically a desk lamp if you wanted to use it, let's say, for charging a smartphone, but it doesn't have that capability. Definitely no smart features like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth for controlling it from a phone or anything crazy, um, especially at this price point. You're really just paying for this unique design, this folding paper origami look, just like on the LED book lights, uh, if you're a fan of that look. And uh, again, just for something fun to place on a bookshelf or on a desk, really not a bad purchase at this very low price. So I'll leave some links down below also to the LED book lights if you're interested. And that's been our hands-on video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.